Hi, it's Pastor Jeff, and I'd like to talk to you today about the relationship between the family of God and the fruit that we produce. The family of God and the fruit that we produce. I'd like to look at this today from the perspective of Paul Tripp. You see, a sister shared from her devotional today where Paul Tripp reminded us that as the family of God, we've all been called to produce, to bear much fruit. And Paul Tripp related that call, that commissioning, that command to 2 Corinthians 5 verse 20, where God's word reminds us that as the family of God, we are to bear the fruit that is in line with the ambassadorship, the ambassadorship that he's called, created, and commissioned us to uphold. And in his referencing, I found a quote that I thought to be very, very helpful, and I'd like to share it with you. I'd like you to take this to heart. And again, ask yourself, are you fulfilling this role, this fruit production, as one who is in the family of God? Are you living out a faithful obedience that is, per Paul Tripp, bringing to the world the look in Christ's face, the tone in Christ's voice, and the touch of Christ's hand? Amen. I found that to be a very insightful, helpful way of asking ourselves the right questions that I pray will lead to righteous answers. Are you, friend, as one who is in the family of God, are you bearing the fruit that brings to a lost and dying world the look on Jesus's face? Are you showing them his approval or what would be his devastating rejection through the looks in your face? Are you bringing his tone of voice, be it a table-flipping, righteous anger tone, like Jesus did in the temple, or that soft, gentle, ever-gracious, always-loving tone that reaches out to the lost? Are you that encouraging tone to the brother or sister who needs to be reminded that there's always hope in Christ? Are you the stern, steadfast tone? that will not waver when compromise and rationalizing are championed by the culture and the crowd around you? And finally, are you the touch of Jesus's hand, where and when the world needs 1 John 3.18 to be demonstrated, that we're not loving with word and tongue, but in action and in truth, evidenced in large part by the touch that you bring to the world around you? I pray that you are embracing the call, the commission, the command to be the family of God, evidenced most righteously through the fruit that you have the Lord produce in you and through you, as you say, yes, Lord, no matter what. Amen and amen.